Welcome to my recording studio today and an actual video of a case study of a family that used the meltdown method. I will be diving in in a minute, but before we do that, if you haven't watched the previous four videos in this free six part series, go back and do that because there is a lot of essential information to set the foundation for all of this and help you have an understanding and even bits that are in my paid course. So go back, check it out when you have meet us back here. With that said, let's dive in and I want to introduce you to my friend Narayan. Narayan is a four-year-old boy who knows everything you can know about animals. He is in love with animals. He can play with figures all day long. He also loves shaving cream baths, getting in the tub with shaving cream and water and toys and really going at it with the sensory exploration. He also loves soccer time and trying to figure out how this soccer thing all works. He is darting around the field, trying to get the ball in the net, and he also enjoys hitting or smushing his little brother. Not so much enjoying. However, that is how the family came to arrive with me and experience the meltdown method. So what did we do? To guide the family through, we really looked first at right away, first session, introducing Thriving in 10. We talked through Dino Time as a name that Narayan picked and could collaborate on. He had choice with, he was really, really into it. And it also helped the parents who were both at home trying to manage kids and work, have some boundaries around when they could play and be together and when they couldn't. So they started it three times a week for 15 or 20 minutes, which was incredible at the time with everything that they had going. However, they quickly saw that it began to pay off, and I'll talk more about that as we go. Second, we looked at parent work, and this is where we really look at all of the ways that we are trying to get our needs met or experience these old unresolved emotions that come up through our, inter through our interaction with kids. An example is when Narayan was hitting or smushing lovingly, but really intensely and somewhat aggressively. So there's an undertone of aggression or urgency or chaos that is happening in the smushing of a baby brother. So when we think about this, we look at Narayan's father who grew up in a home where he was punished or spanked or sent to his room for an isolated timeout where he felt really afraid, really lonely and really angry. And then was sitting there to deal with all of these complex emotions on his own. So this isn't to say we'll never use timeouts in other ways or anything like that, but it's saying that Narayan's father was realizing that this was not a helpful way for him to learn to manage emotions as a child. And he didn't want to be the same way for Narayan. So while he was doing this and going to these punishments, going to these isolated timeouts, it wasn't feeling aligned with how he wanted to show up for his son. We also looked at mom and the relationship with dad and how there was a lot of tension because she is less boundaried, not a lot of rules, not a lot of clarity as to what healthy boundaries are. So there was a lot of tension and a lot of discord between the caregiving dynamic and co-parenting, which really began to lessen as we went through the method. So this second step really helped parents to have an understanding of where the other was coming from. It helped to make sense of what they were wanting and how they were wanting to show up with Narayan and baby sibling. Three is that we went through the meltdown method in the moment. So one thing that really was lacking from all of their amazing attempts. So mom was really emotionally validating and she was saying, oh, you're so mad or you, you're, you're trying to uh, hit and you must be sad and Narayan would escalate. So they were giving a lot of emotional validation in the moment or had tried it and felt like it just wasn't working because what we were missing was reading Narayan's body cues and connecting with those body emotional states that we talked about in previous videos. So in doing this in the course, we go through specific behaviors, what stress responses look like, what that is telling us about their brain, so in the moment, Narayan's cognitive centers were offline, meaning he couldn't access language. He didn't have the capacity to manage emotions in the moment. So that impulsivity of the hitting of the baby sibling 
really was beyond his, his control at a brain and neurological level because it was all offline and he was feeling so disconnected and insecure in the moment. So he went through, put in this exact method, the sequence that I use in the moment to help so many families in a really individual way. So the idea is that we expand on this individual child and their strengths and what they need in the moment and go from there. So it ended up working out beautifully and meltdowns became not something that everybody was walking on eggshells around. So if he was hitting, he could go through a meltdown and it felt like emotional release versus like there's all these little rifts and emotion is building up and we're not getting to the core and it's happening again all day long or all week long. And then it blows up. It was happening gradually over time lessening the big explosive moments and parents were more able to meet emotions and meet Narayan where he was in the moment. And it really paid off. Next, we look at the context and connection. So thinking about the broad scope. Okay. Narayan just had a baby sibling. Of course, he is not going to be a happy camper at times because there's an analogy that when we have a sibling brought home, it's almost like a spouse bringing a partner home. And they're expecting us to be happy and to love them and to share food and to share resources. And really thinking about a baby sibling coming home, there is a lot of themes and a lot of parallels in this. So helping parents to know how Narayan was noticing that baby brother is getting all of this body care and all of this touch and delight and love really intimately in a baby, baby way helped us to guide number five, which is play. And not only validating that there is some tough aspects of being a big brother, but also upping that baby-like play with the Ryan. So even though he wasn't asking for it, often aggressive behaviors are signs that there is underlying unprocessed sadness or grief somewhere along the way, or shame which is not feeling enough, not feeling connected, not feeling part of that family system or community. So we worked in specific ways to play. And in the course, we go through these really specific names for types of play, depending on what problem or what issue or what behavior we're having. And it's a way to support from the ground up. It's a way to build the connection and build that sense of safety, security, and connection for all. So while the steps seem pretty simple, there is a lot of individuality that happens throughout. And that's where the course question and answers really come in handy. So that is all for our video today. Parents reported they earned their time back again and again, instead of power struggles at bedtime. And Narayan running around silly, dysregulated, heightened, they were able to notice that instead of firmly shutting down the behavior, which wasn't working, they were able to understand the why behind his behavior, behind the silliness. So they didn't relate that silliness was a sign that he needed help because he was laughing and jumping and running. However, it was a big time of what we call dysregulation. So going through this process and the method helped them to know, hey, he is a four-year-old who needs us in this moment and doesn't make it easy. However, in the moment, they were able to know that he was a four-year-old who had needs that we can help meet and help to boost his capacity to deal with his emotions all throughout life, not just this moment when he's four. In the next video, we'll go through questions about the course and help you get a spot if this is what matters to you. If this is something that is calling to you and you are interested in and you need support at this time, I will go through exactly how you can increase chances of getting a spot this round with all of the popularity that we've had, the early bird course waitlist and interest. And if you sent me a question and I haven't gotten to it yet, I will answer it in the next video. I hope you found this story powerful. This family followed the exact steps of the meltdown method that I share with you in the course. In the course, you'll be able to watch over my shoulders as I show you how to know your child's behaviors, what to do before a meltdown begins, how to prevent or lessen the big explosive moments and instead allow healthy emotional release and sharing and exchange all throughout the day. I'll share an exact roadmap to follow when they do happen. So a step-by-step -step of in the moment to have tools that you can pull from 
a framework that can guide you and support you, and ways to talk to yourself when things don't go as planned, when we lose our cool, or have those human things show up that aren't ideal for everybody, but everybody has them, and we'll show you how to work through those. This is the combination of all the perspectives and information and experiences that I have, and I'm honored to bring it to you confidently and at a cost that is reasonable and affordable for the live question and answer and the course self-study and everything involved. I prefer to keep my online courses small and intimate because this is what best allows me to support you and to guide you and to really get what you need through live office hours. Spots will be granted on a first come, first serve basis. In the next video, I'll give you some specific instructions to follow. So if you want a spot in this program, if you definitely want in this round, I'll share some information that you can increase your odds of getting in. I'll also share more information about the course and how it's different compared to other courses or methods out there. Thank you for watching today, and I will look forward to your questions in the next video.